Hey YouTube, this is The Art of Prepping, and we're going to go just through a couple books that I would recommend um, for preppers and uh, various bushcrafters, survivalists, uh, you know, hunters, even campers and uh, and hikers, just to have some uh, some information that you can uh, you can learn now and use in the future if you ever had to, um, or just keep in your library so that if you uh, have a rainy day, you could just you know, get up to snuff on and, and you know, learn some new stuff. Um, th this is a book, though, that uh, you wouldn't think that would have much to do with uh, prepping or uh, survival, but it's uh, it's called The Control Theory and by William Glasser. He, you know, he's a very interesting uh, doctor that um, talks about how we perceive reality and uh, how we see things uh, depends on how we react to them and how we create a new reality in our world, in our life. And so this kind of goes hand in hand with the drive and the mentality of, of the will to live, which is very important. And of course, utterly, ex, you know, it's essential uh, for survival and for preppers to kind of have a positive outlook and also just a, a means to be positive. And uh, so depending on how we think of the world and, and our reality is how sometimes we actually if not the majority of the time, actually encounter it. So we have to be careful how we think because a lot of things that we think, we create our own reality. So very good book. The next book is, uh, this is the third edition. There may be even a fourth about by now. Uh, the SAS uh, Survival Handbook, uh, John Wiseman. Pretty good book. Uh, he's a, a gentleman that was like in the Special Forces in Great Britain. Um, the majority of the book is very good. There's some commentary toward the back um, that uh, really is anti-guns. It's uh, it's it's more pro bigger government. There's a lot of that kind of. There's a lot of there's some politics in this book that I don't like. So I can't uh, say that I, I would not recommend it for some of the information about just purely survival. But I think there's some commentary to uh, that if you're a, a Second Amendment fan or you're pro Constitution. Uh, this book is not going to be a hundred percent, you know, uh, you know, super cool with you. You know, I had some problems with it personally. Okay. Uh, the field manual FM 21 dash seven, six. This is an odor, as you can see, manual from survival from the department of the army in October, 1970. There's different variations of these. You may even be able to find a newer declassified version of the survival field manual. Uh, this is pretty good. Uh, some of it is slightly dated, but it has core stuff, a lot of shelter making, food, uh, identification, all of your stuff, you know, how to deal with rescue and uh, not making and celestial, uh, you know, maps. And it's pretty good. You can find those usually for anywhere from eight to ten dollars in a lot of places. One thing is if you can get yourself, a, a, you know, an older uh, official Boy Scout handbook. This just happens to be the one when I was a kid in Boy Scouts. Um, I don't know if the new ones are, are really that much better. I've kind of heard that there's a lot more of the um, PR bullshit that you find in those. Um, this one's just straight up about things you need to know, plants, animals, shelter. Um, so I think maybe the older the better <laughs> on some of these books because you don't get a lot of the uh, the agenda, the political agenda that you do in the newer books. Next one is <clears throat> how to build the, the perfect bug out bag by Creek Stewart, your 72 hour disaster survival kit, which encompasses pretty much all of like about 13 roughly um, categories, if not even a few more. I mean, even touches on how to uh, bug out vehicles and bug out locations and uh, pets and stuff, but it, it covers all the essentials for sure, you know, like your fire, shelter, water, tools, first aid, navigation, and security, and so forth. And even though it's not a real big book by any means, it's just a primer, and it helps you to um, to kind of get a feel for uh, what you need to do to build this, this bag that's generically called a 72-hour bag or bug-out bag or you know all those things. Uh, it's it's not a bad uh, it's not a bad book. I've re-referenced it many times over the last few years, and I highly recommend it. It's definitely worth it. Now this one they come out with a new edition every few years. This is the fourth edition now, but I do believe that there's at least a fifth edition, if not a sixth edition already. But 
they typically have the same information year to year, except they add another chapter or two and maybe revamp a few things in the layout. But uh, Dare to Prepare. This is the fourth edition in 2011 by Holly Deo. She's um, Stan Dale's wife. Uh, very awesome book. Um, it's uh, it's pretty much like an encyclopedia book, dude. I mean, this thing is just insane. I mean, just the uh, table of contents is just uh, a little overwhelming. Uh, there's over 600 pages in this sucker, and it's a good size book too. Just to compare it to the uh, the bug out bag book, it's a bigger format book. It's almost so big though that, and there's a lot of, there's a little bit of rambling, if not at times more than a little bit of rambling on her part. There's definitely areas in the book like personal protection and so forth that she's very much um, uh, in amateurville. But for the most part, no one really obviously knows everything about everything in terms of survival and prepping and, and bushcrafting. So you can definitely tell her weak, her weak areas. Um, of course, she was, I think, from uh, Australia that moved to Canada, I believe. And now I, I think she's in the United you know, They live in the United States now, but they just don't have a lot of knowledge about firearms, um, you know, a lot of personal protection things. But she does have a lot of knowledge about soap making and things. So I think also there's a, a female prerogative or preference to some of the material in the book. So there's an internal bias. But for the most part, she tries her best to cover Everything from gas masks to shortwave radios to food storage, water filtration, and in a great depth. In fact, try and give a lot of examples. Unfortunately, though, the examples after a few years, that it's becoming being as you know specific that she is about these things. Um, they kind of like some of the models go out of date and they're not made anymore, or the information is kind of gets dated pretty quick within a few years. So with that being said, though, you still get the framework and the outline of what you need in every category and what to look for. Another thing is to have a good book. Uh, and even if it doesn't have to be this type of system, but, um, you know, uh, you know, a combat system, uh, Craig Magna is what this one is. This is the Olson combat system, uh, you know, by James Olson, excellent uh, instructor and, and firearms and self-defense uh, expert instructor. And it's just a, a packed full of, of interesting play-by-play -play diagrams, pictures, and uh, information about how to protect yourself using a proven system that the Israelis uh, used um, that is really a mixed martial arts, uh, their system of combat. And um, it's just like what works. It's street fighting at, at its best. Uh, unlike a lot of like karate and uh, jujitsu and taekwondo that are more somewhat competition based and not really a life and death street fighting technique. And last book I have just for to uh, reference and to put in your library is, you know, these are not of course printed anymore, but if you can find a copy of this, um, I don't even know if you can find this maybe even online uh, in a digital format, which would be super cool, but this the Reader's Digest Back to Basics. Um, how to learn and enjoy traditional American skills. And uh, let me just, for reference though, um, okay, find some dates here. Okay, wow, yeah. So 1981 uh, has the copyright on there. And there's some information, ISB numbers and stuff, if you want to pause your screen. But this puppy, man, has some stuff. Uh, going back to farmsteading, homesteading, um, we're talking about real pioneer days, um, woodworking, all kinds of things, uh, orchard building, uh, it's, uh, how to even build your house from scratch, you know? <laughs> so, um, this is an excellent resource. I'm really glad to have this. And, um, so if you have any books that you would recommend to other people, if you have anything that you want to comment on, feel free to put that in the description, uh, you know, comment section. And, uh, we, you know, I thank you for your time and for watching and uh, feel free to subscribe and uh, hit the like button. And, uh, we definitely enjoy making these videos here. I, I do. I just kind of just, uh, get lost into it and just thinking about the things you can share with others. So, uh, thanks again. This is The Art of Prepping.